good afternoon welcome to the new video this time i'm going to demonstrate the amiga emulation on the tinsi 4.1 just released a few, one week ago i think just want to demonstrate how powerful that microcontroller is it's not perfect i mean the emulation but at least it's a beginning it has some kind of sound but not yet perfect uh, well, let me start to show some games like uh, Arcanoid. I'm not going to play long, but I just want to show. I'm using this uh, small uh, experimental version of the PCB still. That was the, the new one really in the box, but the Tin C4.1 doesn't fit yet in that box. So I'm going to use my experimental PCB. Uh, I start, so keyboard is uh, working of course. You need to know what key is what. loading the game from the micro SD which is now embedded on the TNC 4.1 yeah joystick is emulated and mouse I'm not going to play but just to show you that actually working quite nicely Then uh, some uh, demo. I'm not going to show Shadow of the Beast, unfortunately that one doesn't work very well. Um, let's try uh, Great Diana Sisters. Again some kind of sound. Don't listen too much to the sound, there's already something going on there. Speed is quite okay. Also some uh, demos are also working quite well. I just picked up one or two just to show it works. Loading time is of course there, but it's just normal. I tried a few experiments putting uh, also the image of the disk into the PS RAM. For the moment it emulates 2 MB of cheap RAM and 4 MB of fast RAM, so I thought I could store two extra uh, floppies into the RAM and have a kind of swap feature for multi-disk systems but I had some issues when he copies from PSRAM to PSRAM it's becoming very very slow for some reason I didn't investigate really what the problem was as you see there are some graphical bugs here and there just let the, the demo start just to show a bit Oh, it was at that time, if you have the nostalgia of all these nice mega demos of the Amiga. It's really a pity that sound is not working very well. Because, yeah, graphically I have to, I have to start from an old version of the, uh, the UA, uh, U, sorry, UAE emulation. But uh, it's actually not too bad. Emulation also works on the TNC 4.0, but I'm really at the border for sound, and of course there you have only 212 uh, megabytes of, uh, sorry, uh, 512 megabytes of RAM. So demos are working quite okay. Uh, to tweak a bit the display, yeah, that's why there are a few bugs. Demo 
goes on the Amiga. Uh, just let's try another one. Well, let's try maybe another game. Gauntlet also working. Well, I have no idea how to start the game. It's more about to show a little bit more of the beast. But I was quite surprised of the performance of the PSRAM because I had tried uh, also PSRAM on the TNC 4.0 but the uh, speed was not good and actually here with the, the Flex SPI implementation it has quite a significant improvement. Yeah, keyboard is a bit buggy, sorry. Doesn't want to go down anymore. Let's try a double floppy game so if you are actually in joystick mode you can swap discs in fact you load two discs and you can swap yeah, every time this game is going to ask it again and again. But this is uh, Arlequin, if you remember that game. Yeah, some disturbance on the screen. I can implement double buffering, but I did not really do it. Now it's directly drawing into the to the frame buffer. Let's go to the end. Let's try Turrican. Yeah, I was surprised Turrican 3 was also working fine. Let's try. So first insert floppy 2 and then select floppy 1. Here also, same trick. If it wants to work, of course. I didn't try to overclock it too much. Well, there is some tearing effect, but I think the bubble frame will already improve certain things. Type also working. There were some great games on the Amiga. I have to say, I was a fan of the other EST at the same time, so it was always a competition between the two machines. Of course, the Amiga was superior, nobody wanted really to say that, but uh, there was a lot of port of games that were quite equivalent at the end. But the Amiga was superior because of its graphics capability and sound also, of course. 
I don't know what to try. Space Harrier is also working. Toki is also working for me. All these nice intro working fine. Sometimes it's amazing, I find. Such a small uh, microcontroller. That's the keyboard. Didn't show. This was one of the latest generation game. I think there is a lot to improve on this emulator. I think I will try from a, a more recent version of the emulator, but it had to fit in RAM. This is another one that is working quite well. It's an army move. Again, use the keyboard to select. Here I need to press 1, just press 1, and return. strange because some kind of sounds are working very nice and some are not and it's not very clear the reason why because I would expect the, the hardware being these 4 channel DMA uh, would be ok all the time this is Xenon also a famous game And uh, yeah, let's try the jungler. I would say let's try because this one for some reason doesn't work very well. Look at this. That's it, and that's end, the end of the demo because that actually doesn't loop for some reason. But uh, that was it, so that was the uh, Amiga emulation on the 10C 4.1. Thanks for uh, having watched this video, thank you.